Hello and greetings, fellow StarCrafters. PGO Milncraft from ProGamingLeagues.com here to bring you game number two between the now teal, but formerly blue, uh, Zerg player Liquid Chef and the now purple, e.g. Idra. I don't know if he's like purple with rage at losing the game or... Uh, I can't really think of it. Are Vikings affiliated or something like that? I'm not sure. Royalty. Purple was the color of royalty in France. So maybe that's what Idra was going for. Or he just likes the color purple in general. Uh, I suppose we'll never know the answer to that question. They are going to be close spawns, at least close by air. So we will see the Overlords tag teaming again. And I'll try to pay a little bit closer attention to exactly when the pools are gotten. I believe there were both 14 or 15 pools in the previous game. Uh, but it was not it was not a hatch first in either game. So, uh, you know, we'll be seeing exactly what build has had to go for. But I would like to talk about the previous game just a little bit. It was very indicative, I would say, of how micro-oriented mirror matches in general, but also Zerg versus Zerg matches can be, especially if... I mean, if both players get to the point where there's, like, this huge Roach army on either side, there's a lot less macro involved, although sometimes with Investors, there's still... You know, I mean, there's still a lot of ma micro involved. I said macro, I meant micro. Uh, there's still a lot of micro involved, but... Oh, I think... I think with their close spawns, both players probably want to go spawning pool first so that they know that they're getting punished or maybe they know that they're safe when they go when they have overlords visiting it because they know that there's not a spawning pool so so I guess I guess that's what the method madness is but um on to my, my, onto the micromanagement because you know baneling hits are just so important in those matches and you know Idra took that last baneling hit which killed like five lings and then he GG'd you know like if he didn't take that hit if he sent one ling and was able to take out that baneling you know maybe it would have been a different story Probably not, because he was just so behind that particular game. Uh, you know, he was down by... I mean, like, every drone counts. Even if there's, like, 25 drones, if you have, like, a 3-drone lead on your opponent, that's a pretty big deal. But in that case, it was, like, 13 to 10, which is a big deal as well. Oh, an even bigger deal, because, you know, the percentages are that much smaller. So, you know, like, any, diff any difference represents a larger portion of an economic difference, you know, especially in such a scrappy game as ZVZ. So, Idra decided to GG out, wasn't able to win that game, the Micro was just a little bit behind. Uh, looks like both players are, in fact, going hatch first, then gas, then spawning pools. Their builds are exactly identical, in fact, I think the spawning pools... Oh, the spawning pool is just slightly delayed for Sheth. Not a big deal at all. Well, I guess it's a, sort, it's a little bit of a big deal. Uh, Idra's uh, hatchery is also a little bit faster. I'm not sure if he got it at one lower population or not. Uh, it looks like Chef's Overlord popped a little sooner, so I'm not sure the exact build order difference there. It's not something that's of particular importance in this match. Uh, looks like Idra is going to go ahead and get two queens as soon as it pops, and Chef is actually only going to get one queen. Hmm, huh. that's that's interesting. So I wonder. So Chef's, Chef's second queen is actually going to be fairly delayed. Which, the reason that queens, like, you know, the, the difference between, like, a hatchery spawning for, like, six seconds isn't that important. But when you have a queen that's delayed, I mean, you can't see it right now, I guess it's, uh, maybe 15 seconds, no, 20 seconds. That's, that's almost a full larva inject that you're behind your opponent, which means, like, three zerglings, you know. Uh, because a larva inject happens every, uh, every 30 seconds. So, you know, like, it, when it, if it's 20 seconds behind, that's like two-thirds of a larva inject, that's like four zerglings that you're behind. And as you saw in the previous game, you know, very, very minute differences can make huge, huge differences in these games. And so it's just important, uh, you know, to... I think uh, Sheth went for the early drones as opposed to the larva, so I think maybe his economy will be a little bit better. Uh, but his, you know, queen count will be a little bit lower. And actually, if we go to the Harvester count... Oh, Sheth is actually behind for Harvesters. Uh, but he is getting a Roachborn. Idra is getting the Banelings Nest. The Banelings Nest... Uh, Roachborn is sort of the counter to the Banelings Nest, but if you do Roach Bling with perfect... Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Able to take out both of Sheth's Zerglings there. If you do perfect micro uh, against... Uh, if you, you know, you're able to bag all the Zerglings with the Banelings, and then you have the Lings just surround the remaining Roaches, it can actually be very effective. You need to... Roaches in small numbers can easily be surrounded and taken out by Zerglings. Now, all that easily. They're still cost-effective against them, but, you know, they can be taken out by them. Sheth is also getting a spine crawler. Note the placement. Nice job here. Able to block the way into his main base with Zerglings and the Queen. Uh, it was a very good job on his part. I don't think he does not have a second Queen, so actually he is missing a, a Larva Inject by doing that. So that puts him a little bit farther behind in the Larva Count. Uh, which may not matter. The Larva Count only matters if you have the marine, uh, Minerals rather to build the units. Uh, which, which he does at this point. Um, so, you know, it does matter at this point. Looks like both players are actually getting the Spine Crawler. Um, very carefully... 
Uh, we'll talk about the uh, placement of the Roachborn up top as soon as we uh, do and end with this little combat here. Looks like Sheth is going to decide to go home. He is getting tens drones. Wow, he's joining up very hard. And these four Roaches are going to be very effective in helping him defend against these Zerglings because the Zerglings can actually tank for the Roaches. But uh, the Roach is well placed to be able to stop surrounds against the spine crawler and to stop Zerg units from being able to file in and out as easily. And so that's what he's just trying to be careful about. Looks like both players are opting for an Evo Chamber as well. I would guess that they're they're both going to get missile attacks. Uh, missile attacks are a huge bonus in ZVZ because if you get ooh, he needs to be careful with the zerglings there, because if you get one bonus missile attack, it actually deals additional. Uh, it actually kills a uh, zergling in two hits instead of three. It's uh, very similar actually to the zealot uh, zealot uh, weapons attack, which is a uh, makes sense because the they're both like the same situation. They both deal 16 damage. Zealots and two swing roaches in one, and then the, the uh, upgrade increases their damage by two. Looks like Banelings in the... No, it looks like it was just a Zergling scouting in the batch. Idra does have two spine crawlers there. Uh, that'll be very helpful for defense. Uh, looks like Idra is just kind of poking around with these Zerglings, but that is a lot of roaches there. What is that, eight roaches? Nine roaches? Uh, so that's actually very difficult to deal with on his part. Uh, he does have he does have seven roaches on his own, so he'll be fine in any sort of defensive situation. But he's a little behind. I kind of wonder if he's going for mutalisks because he is getting all four gases right now and getting the lair tech. It's also possible he's just going to go for upgraded roaches. He'll be getting ro things like roach speed, uh, which really helps in large roach situations. It really helps you kite or deal with zerglings if you have roach speed. Um, you know, and tunneling claws and burrow can be effective as well at doing similar things to that. You know, simply by mi being able to micro with burrow uh, when you're engaging in a big roach ball, especially if you have tunneling claws, you're able to do a lot of that. But, I mean, the two most important upgrades are speed and weapons level one. Looks like Idra is actually going to go for the third expansion. Now, this is going to be spotted by Sheth. So it's not clear. Oh, Sheth is actually getting his own expansion as well. And wow, actually, Lings are attacking both expansions at once. Looks like Idra did not cancel his expansion. Oh, wow. Oh, ho, ho, that's 300 minerals lost. That's not minerals that he wanted to lose there. Uh, it's not clear if Sheth was able to cancel his expansion or not. Uh, I wasn't able to check that because I was watching the other expansion. Uh, but if he did cancel his expansion and Idra lost his, you know, that's a difference of 200 minerals. That's relatively big. Uh, Idra, ooh, Idra's going to lose these drones as well. Oh, oh, Idra. Uh, he could have sent his roaches over to take care of those lings before he did that. Idra is actually stockpiling a lot of minerals right now. I wonder if he says he must be larva blocked. Oh, no, he does have larva. So, oh, nice job on the contaminate. Now, contaminate actually does two things. First of all, it freezes larva injects so that it no longer is able to spawn additional larva as a result of that. And on top of it, the hatchery doesn't produce any larva in the meantime. Uh, while the contaminate is on. So contaminate effectively gets rid of two larvas and you see that the uh, inject finishes, uh, the contaminate went on right before that. And so that's something that's very useful in ZVZ just because their only unit product producing structure as a hatchery to slow it down is, you know, to slow down the entire Zerg army. Idra is going to counterattack here with Lings. Looks like a very large and very scary attack coming up from Sheth though. He does have one weapon, but look at all the upgrades Idra is getting. That's a lot of resources not spent on units. And right now there's a 14 Roach advantage to Liquid Sheth. So Idra's going to have to play Micro very well to be able to deal with this. This is a very scary push from Sheth coming in. And looks like the Concave is about even there. Sheth might have the slight advantage in the Concave. A couple more Roaches moving in. And Idra's going to have to back his Roaches out. Actually, that hatchery he's building in his base is being, not being very effective right there. And they're both maxing out their roaches as much as possible. And the infestors are actually going to be able to come out soon as well. But that is a lot of a lot of roaches still alive for Chef there. And the infestors are going to pop with 75 energy. So they will be able to fungal growth as soon as they pop. But Idra still needs to deal with the remaining roaches. Nice fungal growth. Hit seven roaches. Very good job. But the drones are being pulled down. A lot of damage is being dealt to the drones. Another infestor was taken out without being able to do anything. And actually Idra is just going to have to GG. Talk about your perfect timing pushes. That was absolutely incredible on the part of Liquid Chef. Idra had Infestors coming out. He had Weapons Level 2, which is still... I mean, it's 40 seconds away, which is kind of a long time. Uh, he had well, I mean, he had Burrow coming on as well. So he had a number of upgrades. They were all finishing right around that engagement. And on top of it, the Contaminate was timed to be about the same time as well to kind of delay Idra's larva. And Idra was already kind of larva blocked as a result of the... I don't know why people are still in this game, but it looks like the Roaches want to battle on the helpless drones. 
Uh, but he was already kind of larva blocked because he had to cancel his expansion twice, so he didn't have a third hatchery from which he could macro from. And I don't believe Sheth had one either, uh, but I think Sheth was um, just more steadily producing roaches out of it. And if you look, Idro did counterattack up here, was able to take out the third base, uh, but it didn't end up mattering. Sheth just had such overwhelming force down here that he was able to deal a lot of damage. And I mean, like, look at all these roaches like that he still had. There was no way Idro was going to be able to come out of this. Even if Idra had the Infestors, though, I don't think he would have won that game. He just wasn't... He was getting too greedy. He, you know, he was expanding, which is fine, but Sheth was expanding too. But he was getting, like, four upgrades at once, which put him in a very vulnerable position temporarily while his roach count was much lower as a result of all those upgrades. And Sheth was able to exploit that, move in, and take out Idra despite the two spine crawlers. And Sheth was actually take, able to take this match 2-0. So congratulations to him. And uh, a really exciting series. I really enjoyed watching uh, ZVZ. Uh, this is PGL Milncraft, and I'll be signing off.